welcome back to another how-to video with the Oxbridge Public Library. Today we will be getting sciencey and showing you how to make elephant toothpaste. This is a really fun project, but make sure that you have a parent or guardian supervising you do it. For this project, you will need a basin or a tray with a lip so that the spill doesn't go over the edge. You will also need 3% or 6% hydrogen peroxide, some liquid dish soap, some dry yeast, food coloring of your choice, a tablespoon, this is a must in this project, and a clear bottle so that you can see your solution come up. First, we're going to make our yeast mixture, so we're going to use warm water. You're going to want to make sure that this is warm, not hot water. And we're going to take two tablespoons of this and put it into a glass. We're going to dry the same tablespoon and make sure that we put in one tablespoon of yeast into our mixture. We're now going to mix this for about 30 seconds and make sure that it becomes a melted ice cream-like texture. Now we're going to place down our tray to contain the mess and put down our clear bottle. We're going to use a funnel to help all of the liquids go into there properly. We're going to take our hydrogen peroxide and pour about half a cup of this into our bottle. Now we're going to add about 10 drops of color. You can choose whatever color you'd like. Now we're going to take our liquid dish soap and put about a tablespoon of that into our mixture. Once this is done, you want to make sure that you swirl the bottle to make sure all of it is mixed. Now you're ready to pour in your yeast mixture and watch it rise. Yeast works hard to release all of the oxygen from the hydrogen peroxide. With the increased amount of soap, it turns the solution into foam. Just step back and watch as the reaction happens. Now to try it with a plastic bottle, we've just rinsed our tray under the sink. And now we're going to take our clear plastic bottle and take the lid off and place it directly in the center of our tray. Now we're going to take our funnel, place it into the lip of the water bottle, take our half cup and pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Now we're going to do another 10 drops of food coloring. This time we're going to use a magenta color. Another tablespoon of liquid dish soap. A 
and give it a swirl just to make sure that it's all combined. we've pre-made our yeast mixture and we're going to pour it in with a funnel and we're going to give our solution a quick swirl to make sure that it all combines. Now because this bottle has a tighter neck at the top than our last bottle, the oxygen in the bottle will quickly remove and turn into foam faster. By being safe and making sure that you don't touch the solution, you can touch the side of the bottle that hasn't been touched by the foam solution and feel how warm it is. This is an exothermic reaction. It's a chemical reaction that releases energy through light or heat. This is a really fun project to test out your science skills. And if you like this video, please come back for more content from the Oxford Public Library.